Cushions are frequently the first project that people make. So we will look at, here is the, uh, the Florentine pattern that you've stitched. And because it's wool, we've got a linen fabric and a lovely handmade cord in the same colours of the wool that you used in the design. Cords are actually comparatively easy to make yourself with uncut wool and a friend to help you. The design I love is this inset with a, a padded flange. And you'll see that I've done the entire Florentine design in stranded cottons. So a silky fabric is ideal to match the, the delicate look of the silks. Remember the blue and yellow Florentine design that we saw right at the beginning of the tutorial and with the unusual fabric. My tip in that instance would be to find the fabric and then first and then match the walls or the threads to the fabric. Of course you might decide to make your piece into something completely different to a cushion and there's one or two lovely ideas I have. One is a box top which is always a very practical present for people or to keep your special special things in. A tip there, I would suggest that you find a suitable supply of boxes and do your needlepoint design to fit an existing box top rather than having a custom made um, box which will cost you far more. So now I'm going to show you some of the more adventurous pieces that you can make with the Florentine you've already learned. For example, here is a lovely big cushion. Again, I've had it done with the cords and rather dramatic tassels in the corner. But you can see that there's a repeating pattern for the Florentine in the middle. And then a beautiful Florentine border that goes around the whole of the design. Another simple idea is a Florentine line, very similar to the one you've already created for yourself but reversed with my name down the middle of it. Bar stools are another place for a nice comfortable cushion. And here we have a circular one, starting in the middle and growing out with the various Florentine scallops. You may wish to do something slightly smaller, for example, an iPad cover in these eye-catching colors. No chance of losing that. Or a small spec case, which is I have a selection of spec cases, larger ones for my sunglasses and small ones for my half glasses that I stitch with. And of course you can use all sorts of odds and ends of threads to make really, really attractive colour schemes. Either of these would make fantastic presents for your friends. And let's face it, a handmade present is really, really special. I do hope that you've enjoyed this tutorial as much as I have sharing my ideas with you. So who could believe that on our first lesson together we did a small panel and it finished up as a beautiful cushion. I do have two books that have really interesting Florentine projects in them, both on Amazon. One is called The Complete Needlepoint Course and the other one Needlepoint Stitch by Stitch. Do have a look at them. So now we've come to the end. Thank you so much for joining me through the various tutorials. We plan to do a lot more with Florentine because let's face it, we've only just touched the tip of the iceberg. <laughs> Click on subscribe right now and you will be automatically notified of future tutorials.